Blood Product Administration is our next topic. Now we have three types. PRBCs are packed red blood cells. This is whole blood and must be given within four hours max after taken out of the refrigerator. And PLT or our platelets to help with clotting. This must be given within 30 minutes after being taken from the fridge. And FFP, our fresh frozen plasma, or basically our clotting factors, to ensure clients don't bleed out. These must be given within 60 minutes. Now, starting with PRBC, this is given for low H and H, that hemoglobin and hematocrit. The key numbers to know for exams is a hemoglobin less than 7 sends the patient to heaven. So write that down. This is a medical emergency. The NCLEX loves to test on this number. Now a hemoglobin of 8 to 11, you must report this to the HCP and surgeon if before surgery. And as just mentioned, a hemoglobin less than 7 sends the patient to heaven. This client needs an immediate blood transfusion or will die from shock. Remember, shock is that severely low blood pressure and low perfusion, that low oxygen. So the top signs and symptoms to know for shock is number one, pale skin, also called pallor or even dusky skin signs. Number two is cold and clammy skin. And number three is fatigue and weakness from the lack of perfusion. Now this low blood count can result from blood loss, like during a trauma, like a car accident, and blood loss from a surgery or even simply anemia, where total blood cell count is low. So Hesse mentions, a child involved in a motor vehicle accident has a thready pulse, decreased blood pressure, rapid respirations, and clammy skin with pallor. The client is not responding to the second fluid bolus. Which treatment would the nurse anticipate administering to ensure the safety of the client? And the answer is red blood cells, or PRBC, packed red blood cells. Now, the second question, the nurse is caring for a patient with a hemoglobin of 8 and a hematocrit of 35% who is receiving an infusion of one unit of packed red blood cells. The nurse anticipates which result on the patient's next lab work, a hemoglobin of 9 and a hematocrit of 38. Yes, we'll actually break down the key numbers here in a moment, but just know that one unit of PRBCs will increase the hemoglobin by 1. Now, in terms of platelets, these are the little proteins inside the blood which help the blood to clot and prevent the severe bleeding. So these are given to clients with low platelets. Now, the NCLEX key numbers to know is anything less than 150,000 is thrombocytopenia, basically meaning severely low platelets. Now, anything less than 50,000 is very risky and very deadly. Clients can bleed out with the slightest paper cut or even bruise. So write down these key numbers and memorize them. They are need-to-knows for the NCLEX. Low platelet count typically results from cancers and certain types of anemias. Now for FFP, our fresh frozen plasma, these are our clotting factors. All right, that wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take your quiz and download the study guides. And also feel free to share the love, share with a classmate, and even your instructor. See you guys in the next videos. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.